All right, welcome back to the part 25. So, um, okay, so, um, so before I start this video, um, the Tone People Jokes part 7 was quite short. I was gonna add the other part, but I was gonna add the, add the other part, but somehow the other part got deleted or something. I don't know why, but it, maybe it didn't start very well. My phone just keeps on stopping for no reason, just blocks my free time sometimes. It sometimes does that to me. And it really annoys me, so I hate it when it does that. Um, does any of your phones do that while you're making a video or something like that? But but when you make when you make a, a video, it automatically it automatically um, opens up after you um, after you stop that video or something like that. So that's all it is. So yeah. All right. So um, let's start with the I I did the ABCs um with the other parts of 23 and part 24. So, all right, so ABC's Possible Terminology by Quinn Simpson. So it was made by, um, it was made by, um, uh, my, by, by the end of second semester. Uh, okay, so second semester, first and second semester is that, first semester is my chemistry teacher, ICP teacher is we have to do an, ABC's possible terminology. So, um, I found a really good words about what can be related to. So that's all that can be related. So definitely. So, all right, let's get started here. I'm going to prevent, I'm going to represent this if you don't mind. Uh, here we go. All right. Amplitude. The amplitude is a measure of its change over simple various definitions of amplitude. Okay, so for example, is where the lines are pointing, where the line, the line and then it goes down and slowly goes up, all the way up to the to the normal side. So it likes, so it is like, I seen this kind of line since like the first semester, I think. Yeah, definitely. All right, so this is the, the time and a peak definition or the peak deviation and the average pressure and the peak deviation. So that's where that's what it's that's what it's described right about here. So this is the the amplitude in the bulgelin bulgelinged 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 that's how you say it, right? The blue line. So the sin X in parentheses with which is the red line. So which can be written and explained by by your chemistry teacher. So definitely. All right. So this is the the amplitude by which is the arrows pointing. So points are out right there, and the wavelength is right. Where has been, where I'm pointing, and the distance is the line that goes through it, and there's those line blue lines that goes with um, where my finger's pointing. It it is all um, wiggly. It's all kind of like jiggly. It looks like an M, but it you may you may think it's like an M, but it's different handwriting by a teacher or something like that, but who knows, like, everyone can write like that, so don't judge them because they, just because they can't write right, so, so down here is the peak de deviation, and up here is the peak deviation, so, yeah, the peak deviation is the plus, and the de peak deviation is the minus down here, yeah, so, it really relates to, um, it relates to the one the by the one and it goes down to the negative one so yeah all right so next assignment if you have any questions just let me know all right balanced force all right so i'm going to present this 
They show balance for balanced force. Repeat balance force. Balanced force. Balance forces are acting in opposite directions of an on an object. In equal in size. Okay, so you see these um people that are in this uh in this like a uh, try not to fall challenge. Uh I was looking forward to do that with my friend one day. But um this is what uh, a girl and uh, these are two. I think they're two girls, right? Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's boy or girl. Just let me know if it is. Um, it may be a girl. I don't know because they both wear. You can see that somebody wears. Um, I don't know. Somebody dressed like a boy or something like that. I don't even know. It's a boy or girl. I guess I should say it's a girl, but who knows? They are two. Um, people that are standing in the, uh, I'm going to pretend to say it's a try not to fall challenge. Um, like it's, I, I can't tell if it's like a, like a mat, like a wooden mat that they're standing. They can try to be on balance, but they'll tr they're trying not to fall in the opposite direction. So if they do fall, then they, they obviously get hurt and they obviously get boo-boos in their, anywhere they go. So that's all about the first one. Okay, so suppose 10 and force act on the left side. Okay, so the 10 and on the left and the 10 and on the right, where the car is, when the car is moving, when a car moves in a different, like, like a, like a mirror side, that can go on T and left. In the right, the thing that I'm pointing right here, is actually going right. So the car is going right. By, uh, yeah, cars can go left or right, but they have to stay on right or left uh, where you want to go. It matters a lot to everyone else. Okay, so the third picture rep represents is the, the person kicking a ball, the soccer ball. So that's the movement of going to that right, right T 10 end. This is the right 10 that goes like a, if you're playing soccer on the left, they can see on a different side, then you can see somebody kicking on the left. But in reality, the, the crowd can see on the right and crowd can see on the left. So that's the different session or different generations of how they can see you in other different ways. You never know what can be right. Well, some person would prefer left. And some people more pr pr prefer right. So, so yeah, it obviously um, uses directions. So it actually, I actually learned about the balance forces, which is a long time ago. I mean, so the balance forces are basically the uh, the balance. You have to you have to stay on balance. Like you have to stay on balance for your uh, bicycle on your bike. When somebody knows how to learn a bike, I. I, I ride a bike before I, I wore a helmet and, uh, you know, I was keeping up with my, with my balance and I was paying more attention and, uh, yeah, bike was a really good handle to me. So I pretty much enjoyed it. Okay. So the, on a skateboard, I never tried that before. So I tried it once and I actually almost followed. I did not know how to do it. I was like, I was like, sure. I was pretty sure I was about to fall. Because, uh, okay, so uh, my dad and I, back in a long time ago, like my dad and I were in the back seat and uh, went a four wheeler, a uh, four, four wheeler. And, uh, and so we were, my dad was riding, taking me a ride. And all of a sudden, actually, not my dad, my, my brother, my brother tried to run the, the four wheeler, the uh, four wheeler. Um, the four wheel wheeler, so I, yeah, the four wheeler. So, okay, so my brother was driving very fast, and uh, my brother accidentally hit the right bad bump, and it accidentally runs. It actually, I thought it was gonna run over me because I thought I was gonna die because uh, I I was I was really really hurt. I was twelve years old back in that day, and I did not realize how much hurt, how much pain I've been suffering. So, 
Yeah, me and my brother got really, really hurt. I hold extra tight, and my brother was like, uh, my brother ha- accidentally hit that bump, and we, and before we were, um, it, before we were, we were made us jump, like, it really made me and my brother jump. Like, I'm not kidding. He actually, I wish I got the video. I wish I got that on video, but I don't know. It was a long time ago. I. Yeah, uh, we accidentally got hurt. So, you know, I, I actually got hurt really, really bad. Is really, really not really fun at all because I wasn't enjoying it. Okay, so that's all you know about the balance force. So, if you have any questions about my story, then just let me know. All right, chemical energy. Okay, so the chemical energy is stored in a bunch of chemical compounds like the atoms and molecules. This is the chemical energy, which is the torture, which is the torch by the fire. And this is batteries that can explode immediately. And this is the carbon dioxide by the leaves and light energy by the sun and the oxygen by the, by the other plant, other leaf. And the basic photosynthesis is actually... This is the water comes from, and there's a the dirt, and there's the flower, the sunflower, and uh, there's this this potion that is like um, smelling a little bit, where where it's like smelling, like it causes to smell pretty much. So, so yeah. Um, okay, so here here are here are the the chemical energies. They are located. Uh, these are the potions that are made up recently. So this is blue, purple, orange, green, yellow, light green, red. Okay, so um, chemical energy is where I start my my uh, my my sodas, which is uh, when I, which is I plan to do is which is big blue, and I'm doing it for a science science experiment, and I'm gonna drop a uh, I'm gonna drop a. Uh, I feel like doing a test by um, what happens if you put baking soda on the water, in the water. What would happen if you put baking soda in the water? What would it do? Just tell me in the comments. Just answer in the comments and I'll let you know. Now, and I'll heart your, and I'll heart your comment right away, even though I see it. Okay, so um, it explains after the... We're not doing the experiment of little um um of water or milk or soda. It actually pretty matters. When I did the pineapple Fanta and the Pepsi with the um with the Mentos. Okay, so I'm planning to do all my big blues on the Mentos. And I'm gonna put all of them at the same time. So uh um yeah, I'm gonna put all of them at the same time. So uh yeah, like a uh, big blue was actually a good drink. Um, I'm gonna do big blues for uh, for experiment to uh, to uh, make a like a I'm gonna make a big box of big blue to put all the big blue in. So I might drink some of it, but I might drink I'll drink some of it. I'll taste a little bit some of it, but I'll put some the rest in there. So how's that? Yeah, like a yeah, big blue is not really that poisonous, so don't even think about saying it. So. Okay, so that's all we know about chemical energy. I learned that from previously. So, yeah. All right, distance. Okay, so um, this reminds me of social distancing, but more like uh, more like six pe- feet apart for a while. Uh, it was like back in 2020, we had to stay social social distancing. I really hate that role so darn much, because many people hate it. It's not really, we can't really get it as any closer as we can, as we used to. I used to set people a bunch of lunch. I used to sit with a bunch of people at lunch. It's really, really stressful that we cannot sit around each other at lunch because of, of COVID. Uh, even though that COVID is like almost over, I don't know how much we can do. So yeah, all right, so the distance Distance is a measurement of how far apart how far apart objects are located. For example, the an hour and fifty two minutes by one hundred eighty seven km for the kilometers 
So this is the relocation to all the way to the location that is sent to. We can even set a distance by dash lines, which is like from A to B. But to go through this path, go around and just, uh, put it to B. And the displacement is actually the red line. Okay, so this is a blue location where you're at is where you get the red location that you're actually going. So here's your answer. Alright, so the jet stream and jet travel, it takes a lot of while to uh, fly around in there. So, so definitely, definitely all that. So, yeah. Alright, so um, if you guys have any questions about the distance, just let me know. Or if you have questions about the social distancing. Because maybe many people have many questions about the social distancing too, but I love I would love to answer. So okay, so um I'm still on Google Slides for a while, so hopefully I'll be around Google Google Docs. Or I already did Google Sheets and I already did I already did like I'm like almost done with the, the Google slides. I'm actually uh getting pretty used to it. So this is a global core travels and and uh, this is some rules that you have to, at least if the red line is actually located to this point, this word right here, which is, do you know what it is? And the green, uh, guess what it is? Yeah, the green line, what do you think it is? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so, um, back, all right, enough of a distance, so, um, all right, so let's start with the E. All right, so we have all upcoming, so electromagnetic waves, frequency, gravity, harmonic motion, infrasound, kinetic energy, which is already done. I already done it in a previous one. There's no such thing as a J, so light energy, motion, Newton's third law, output force, pitch, radial waves, speed, there's no Q, thermal energy, ultrasound, velocity, weight, x-rays. That's all about it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, all right, so now I'm at electromagnetic waves. So let's read that. Okay, so electromagnetic waves. Repeat, electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic, electromagnetic waves refers to the waves of the includes radio waves, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. So like for example, is um, elevation is um, located right there and a crust is actually this point and the Amplitude is actually the, the, the red line, and the X is located right there, and the, tro, and the trough is actually the point that is standing there. And the wavelength length is actually the, the, the arrows with the red arrows, so red line arrows, so yeah. Electromagnetic waves, so this is, the, this is what it looks like. Okay, so guess how many, okay, so not how many, but... Guess guess what many words provide for. Guess how many answers. Um, guess what has the answers to this to this one, to this to this third action to this third picture. What does it What does it say? What does it remind you of? What does it What's the answer for it? All right, this is the question for all of you. So just so you know, you don't have to answer, but you can answer. You can answer if you want to. Okay. All right. So the amplitude A is actually uh, uh, the line to the blue line. The wavelength A is actually uh, the thing. The the blue lines are actually um, up and up there. No, 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 no. Fudge. Sorry. So the the wavelength A is actually the up upper 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 time upper forward is actually there. The use of a median line is actually um, 
actually on the line, the black line. So this is the median line. So just letting you guys know that. So this is um, the amplitude represents to the median line to the to the wave one. So yeah. Okay, so electromagnetic wave. So this is the electric field E, which is rotated to the blue. Magnetic field B is actually re represented to the the red one. And propagation direction is actually pointed in a different direction. Okay, so the length wavelength length is actually the black lines. So this is what it, the wave looks like in general, like all general times. So yeah. Yeah. Um, again, if you guys have any questions about the electromagnetic waves, just let me know. Electromagnetic waves refers to, um, to, uh, to waves that includes radio waves, ultraviolet X-rays and gamma rays. So what does it, what do you think it represents to? Obviously, what, what do you think it represents to? Just let me know in the comments. Okay, so if you, if you can answer this question, um, what is a gamma ray, gamma, what, what are gamma rays? And what are X-rays and what are ultraviolet? If you can answer them. What does it include? What's the definition of the, what, of those words? Just give me your best, I think, just give me your best effort. Look it up if you don't know what it is. So yeah. Okay, so, uh, okay, so this, lo this looks, that this upper there is looking like a rainbow. This looks like a, a, a rainbow that it looks like. The, this is what it be, how, how steam it, how, how familiar this actually could be in those part particular lines that are lines that are curled up and lines that are pretty pretty zigzag or curly could be it. Um, what do you what do you think that is? All right, so enough with the electromagnetic wave. So let's just go on with the frequency. I, I actually heard that word before, so frequency, <gasps> sorry, frequent, all right, frequency, repeat, frequency, repeat, frequency, frequency, frequency is the number of occurrences of an event per unit of a time with emphasis, emphasizes to frequency, frequency, frequency solve. All right, so this is what the frequency reminds me of is that somebody else is like speaking that's frequency and this is what it looks like in general yeah just in general what it, lines can be uh represented to up there that we did in second semester actually the first yeah okay so this is the short wave length length this is the short length length wave wave length in the high frequency this is a long wavelength in a low frequency. So this is what it looks like. And this is a short wavelength of a high frequency. This is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. This is the low amplitude radio waves. This is what it looks like. And this is the high amplitude radio waves, which represents the, the higher, higher, higher sketch has been has been reminded of all time. So, okay. So, um, what do you think that represents to? What does it re what does that remind you of? Like I said, rem rem just remember in the comments if you guys want to answer this. Okay. So, let me get what let me get this um chemistry math that you have to remember. So, okay. So, see exercise seventeen. This type of motion is called simple harmonic motion. Just remember that in your notes. Okay, so m d squared x divided by 2 d2 two, 2 squared equals um, negative kx. Or m d squared x and d t2 squared plus kx equals 0. 
this is a second order linear differential equation. It's auxiliary, auxiliary. equation is mr2 squared plus k equals zero. With roots of, with roots r equals plus division wi, where w equals, um, what is the, uh, which is a uh, I I cannot remember what that what, what that was called, I I can't remember what 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 this is called. I'm sorry. I I'm gonna look it up. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, guys. Uh, the skirt the square root of the wait, what happened? All right, so sorry about that, guys. And so the squ yeah, actually, the square where the w equals square root of k. Um, out of M, but the general solution is X uh, T in parentheses equals C one down squared cos W T plus C two down down two squared S sin W T, which can also be written as X T in parentheses equals A cos in parentheses by W T plus eight and perfect in parentheses, where w equals square root of k out of m frequency. So this is what a frequency is all about. a equals in parentheses by c, c squared, um, c2 squared, sorry, plus c um, 2 out of 2 divided by 2 amplitude. So this is amplitude of this time. Cos 8 equals C1 down 1 squared and divide by A. Sin 8 equals negative C2 down squared divided by A. E is a phase angle. Remember, cos 8 equals C1 down squared divided by A. Sin 8 equals negative C2 down squared divided by A. 8 is a phase angle. This type of motion is called a simple harmonic motion. Just remember that in your notes. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do one more, uh, which can be also can actually be frequency about how you can struggle with math. It's kind of like you're in a earth space science or, uh, or a math class that can be challenging to you. So, yeah, um, Mr. Burton was like, um, um, okay, so Mr. Burton, I, I, Mr. Burton was like, uh, I know you guys don't like math, but, uh, we'll just get over this, okay, friends? I was like, okay. Okay, so, um, okay, so Mr. Burton, uh, explains the math and the, and, um, and, and chemistry, Okay, so math and chemistry is, you should remember guys, math and chemistry. This is what it looks like by other, what kind of math is used by, is, what is, what kind of math is used in chemistry? Okay, so, um, ages 16 to 18. Okay, so mathematics, pro proportional reasoning. Algebra and graphs, calculus, units of uh, measurements, base of a chemistry context, of analysis of molecular structure and moles, analysis of experimental plots of reaction rates and gas laws, predicting and measuring rates of reaction and measurable experiments, making sense of, making sense of real complicated measurements. So this could be it about the the mathematics and chemistry. Okay, so how do we use math and chemistry? Math is also used to calculate energy in reactions. Compression of a gas grants needed to add to its solution to reach desired concentration and quantities of reactants needed to reach the desired product. So this is the, uh, I'm gonna ask one more question. I'm gonna answer one more question, that'll be it. Okay, so um, this okay, so it, it kind of reminds you of you had to take uh, more calculus if you're uh, if you took like uh, 
geometry honors in middle school or something like that, or if he took algebra one in middle school. Um, I know that I didn't. Mostly, most most freshmen usually take algebra one in North High School. In my high school, I usually I had algebra one in high school. In my high school, yeah, my high school was uh, pretty much the same. And I took geometry in tenth grade, and it was pretty pretty good that I can actually learn what the shapes are actually meant. So I know that some people are like, um, I know that some people um, think that geometry is like, some people they think that they know, they, they, they know their shapes, but they, they don't know some of their shapes because some circles are, a circle is round, but the oval is very, very different. The oval is like um, fixed up. So yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna answer one question is chemistry heavy math. Chemistry is a very mathematics intensive major. It varies from school to school, but most universities require calculus two and calculus three. Physics one and physics two. Calculus based, P, chem, I and two, one and two. In analytical chemistry, the math level is very here for simple integrals to statics, statistical analysis to very advanced calculus. So I was in a class which advanced, which is like advanced calculus. So that can be pretty good too. All right. So, all right. So I'm going to start with, okay. So one more. All right. So gravity, which is, um, I like to do. Okay, so I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save the other parts for the 26. So, because I'm gonna answer some questions better described around in Google. So yeah. Okay, so let's start talk about gravity. That things that float in the air. Okay, so gravity. Repeat. Gravity. 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 Gravity is a force by which a planet or other bodies draws objects towards its center. Okay, so this is the astronaut uh, with, a per with the person was about to take the helmet off, which is really, really dangerous. You can actually, your head can start doing weird things like your eyes starting to pop out, which is absolutely hate so freaking much. I'm not even kidding at all. I don't, I, this is why I hate being, this is why I'm scared of being diagnosed with being blind I can see pretty well. I don't like to be blind. This is why I this is why I don't like to be blind because I don't like my eyes to be so freaking weird and I don't want my eyes to feel so damn weird. I'm not even kidding. So yeah, uh, this is a thing that is um what do you think what do you think it is? This is the earth and what do you think the rest of us is? This first page, this first picture. This is the this is the word full of gravity, and this is what the gravity looks like. This is what the gravity looks like in general. The gravity is where you uh, what do you what do you stand um, when you're like uh, when you're like floating away. This is what it re represents to. Yeah. Okay, so this is what gravity looks like. There's a yellow line, and an orange line, and a green line. That represents those two dots, which re represents those three dots that are located to the far back. And this is the, what it looks like. And what do you think that represents to? Just give me your best efforts. And, uh, okay, so let me know if you have any questions for this video, for this, for this page. Okay, so, uh. The thing you, the thing to remind you guys is gravity is the force by which a planet or other body draws objects towards the center. It, this is what it actually was that first page is doing. This is what it, this is what it's actually doing. So this is what it actually has to do for this first picture that I, that I copied it. Um, but I looked it up and I saw that I find it very interesting. So, so yeah, um, yeah, this is the first picture that you can, that you have to look it up, so, to remind you guys. And this one re re reduces the, 
um, the the body, the other body draws objects towards the center. So this is probably um, really relates to that other center. So this is what it relates to those kind of center. What do you think these uh, blue? This these looks like it's made by uh, spider webs. But what do you think? It, what do you think this blue lines? What do you what do you think this is? It really draws objects by towards its center. It draws by its center because it wants to proceed any um and any gravity that has been uh has been made by made by community lines that are better better ever drawn by objects towards the center. That can be the one about your opinion. So Alright, so um end of the end of this part, so uh so if you guys have any questions, just let me know, and I'll see you guys on the part 26.